Hello everyone. This is my fourth video on sport diagnosis. Today I will show you another rare case. So this is the image of an infant who is having the abnormal facial feature and abnormal shape of the skull. In the skull you can see the anteroposterior diameter is decreased and bilateral diameter is increased because of the premature closure of the coronal suture. So characteristic shape of the skull is brachycephaly having the frontal bossing also having the parrot beak nose thin lips and mandibular prognathism also having the low set ear when you will draw the horizontal line you will see the ear are below this line we will label as a low set ear this child was operated for the hydrocephalus also so this scar is because of vp shunt was inserted having the umbilical hernia also limbs were totally normal not having any deformity of the upper and the lower limbs no deformity of the finger and the toes were there so what will be the diagnosis for such child so on the basis of all these characteristic clinical finding what will be the diagnosis for this child diagnosis will be krausen syndrome in which child will have the characteristic abnormal shape of the skull due to the premature closure of the coronal suture brachycephaly also having the abnormal facial features you can see the frontal bossing exophthalmos hypertelorism peaked nose also having the low set ear and thin lips and mandibular prognathes so in brief about the krausen syndrome it is craniofacial dysostosis it is autosomal dominant because of mutation of fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 gene on the chromosome 10 incidence are 1 in 25000 because of premature closure of the cranial suture and mid facial hypoplasia and eye defect this is a classical triad of the krausen syndrome there are various other clinical syndromes associated with the craniosynostosis other than krausen apert syndrome in which with craniosynostosis child will also have the syndactyly so this is ruled out in our case because child was having normal finger and toes pfeiffer syndrome in which child will have the abnormal broad and medially deviated thumbs and great toes with the craniosynostosis protruding eyes and conductive hearing locks will be there another is carpenter syndrome in which also syndactyly or polydactyly will be there So this is all about the craniosynostosis and the Krausen syndrome. Thank you so much.